Yo, what's up? It's your boy Augie. Welcome to another video. Today we are checking out Forza Motorsport and the curious tale of its graphical settings on PC. So without further ado, let me just show you what my settings are that I'm playing this game on. And if you are trying to play this game on PC, you might want to follow these uh, settings because they might give you the best graphical bang for your buck. If you're running a RTX 3070 Ti or anything within that eight gigabyte range of uh, GPUs, this might be the best graphical setting to really play the game at at a decent frame rate that isn't in the dog-ish, you know, realm. So let's go ahead and just take a look. Um, basic settings. So real quick, dynamic re render quality is going to be on high. Everything here, custom, full screen, 1440p, show the frame rate, DLSS on balanced, okay? Balanced, make sure you have it on balanced. Let's go over to advanced video settings. Uh, render quality is high. You definitely want to use any of the V-Sync uh, settings here. Don't use anything that doesn't say V-Sync because for some reason it just won't, it will stutter. Um, Digital Foundry did a video on it and they said if you use anything outside of the V-Sync, it's gonna stutter like crazy, so do not use anything that doesn't say V-Sync. So for just purposes, just use 60. Resolution scale, leave it at auto. Um, filtering, 16X. Ray tracing, car reflections, and RTAO. You want, but the RTAO quality needs to be low, okay? Anything higher than low is going to give you some horrible frame rates. Shadow quality, leave it at high. Cube mapping, medium. Car model, leave it at high. Livery, you can honestly, uh, no, none of the testing that I've seen, ultra, high, low, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't hit frame rate performance. Just leave it at ultra. Windshield reflections, leave it at high. Mirror quality, medium. Track texture, leave it at high. Particle effects, leave it at auto. Let the game decide, okay? It's gonna probably pull from your render quality setting, but just leave it at auto, let the game decide. Motion blur, just turn that thing off. It's, it's I honestly hate motion blur um, in any game I use, so I just have it turned off. Lens flare, leave it on high, and that is your settings, okay? So if you're trying to play this with an eight gigabyte, you know, GPU, here's your settings. We're gonna run the benchmark so you at least get an idea of what you should be getting when you are running these settings. All right, so we're gonna start off, we're already starting off in the good 60s to low 50s. You'll see some 40s dip in every once in a while, but for the most part, we're looking at upper 50s with a little bit of creep into the 60s. Now, also just remember you are also bench testing this, so you're not gonna always encounter these levels of particle effects and lighting. But here we go. This run, we got 53 FPS. Um, sometimes it gets somewhere up in the 61s, depending on how often you run this. One thing you should know is whenever you change any of these settings, do a hard restart. Close the application altogether and reload it. There is a bug where if you change settings and you run benchmark or you run the game, those new settings do not apply correctly. Now, this is what is considered playable on a eight core processor. I have a Ryzen 7 3700X with the RTX 3070 Ti. This is what's considered playable. Um, for a 2023 game that has been in production for the last five years or so, this is kind of disappointing because what I'm gonna show you in a second, I'm gonna show you Forza Motorsport 7 and Horizon 5. And I just want to show you just how vastly different image quality you get from games that are five to three years old. This game being brand new should not look this horrible. It is like there's no real explanation for this. Looking at just the Cadillac right here in this setting, it looks it looks ashy. 
the blacks aren't as deep, the color isn't as vivid, the sharpness of the image isn't there, and honestly, you can look at the reflections, you see jaggered jaggies all over the damn car. For a thing that is rendering in 1440p, you should not have, I mean, what are we looking at here? This is a five year old game in development, it, but it, it looks worse than Motorsport 7. They spent five years to do what exactly? Like, what was the point of the development cycle of this game if it took them five years to deliver this dog shit ass experience? Now, remember, this was supposed to come out a year earlier before they canceled the release and pushed it back to October. So if it looks horrible like this now, imagine what it looked like when it was supposed to come out initially. Like what is going on turn 10 It's almost like motorsport might be the bastard child and horizon might be the, the main, the main application going forward. Cause if this is motorsport in 2023, count me out. Like this is a horrible ass experience on PC. Just to, just to show, let's take a look at a car. Let's just take a look at the Honda Civic Type R, okay? Let's just take a look at this, 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 this car. It looks like it's like there's Vaseline smeared across the screen. I don't know if it's the ray tracing. I don't know if it's the shading. I don't know what the issue is, but this car looks dog shit ugly. For a game that just came out in 2023, like why is this, why is this game this way? What did they honestly do to, to really get this game to be this horrible? Like looking at it, some parts, it looks great, but look at the reflections on the hood. Look at all of that jaggies, man. Look at all those jaggies. This, there is not a smooth line anywhere on this car. In 1440p, there is not a single smooth line on this car. And like, what is going on with the paint? Is the paint chipping? Like, does this car have custom paint chip? Because it shouldn't. But I guess the materials aren't rendering correctly either. This is a brand new game that came out literally 48 hours ago. And this is what it looks like, guys. Like, why are we spending $70 for this? I mean, I'm glad I have Game Pass to play it, to experience it. And But unfortunately, I did buy the premium add-on for $35. But I might get a refund because th this, this is horrible. This is horrible for a game that just came out in 2023 that was in development for five years. If this is what turn 10 is now kicking out, yeah, count me out, man. This is, this is dog shit. And so just to compare, let's go into Forza Motorsport 7, okay? All right, so here we are. We are back inside this five-year-old game Forza Motorsport 7. Let's take a look at that same Honda Civic in Forza Motorsport 7. Look at that. Look at how clean, how crisp, how beautiful, and how, look at the reflections. Everything on this five-year-old game looks amazing. It's clear, it's distinct, the lines are visible. All the detail is rendered with high quality. The black look black. The paint looks like actual paint. Like this game is five years old. And yet look how nice it looks compared to a game that came out literally 48 hours ago. Like turn 10, where did all the resource, where did the team that built this game go? Did you guys like delete like delete all your files? Clearly you didn't because the S15 Sylvia is still the same one from Forza Motorsport 1 and all the other cars you've recycled. So if you could recycle cars, why can't you recycle visuals? Like this should be the bare minimum Forza Motorsport should look like on any platform. 
let alone PC with high-end quality GPUs and CPUs. Now, if you think I'm just joking, let's look at the graphical settings here. Same settings, basically close to the same. 1440p, full screen, we got frame rate turned on, render is on ultra. We go to advanced, everything is damn near ultra, okay? Unlocked VSync, 100% ultra, ultra all the way down. Everything is cranked up to as high as it can go. Now, granted, this is a five-year-old game, okay? So it, it, its requirements for visual fidelity wasn't as demanding as Motorsport 2023, but still, go running benchmark for a game five years old, look how great it looks. While we wait for the benchmark to come up, we might have to like boycott motorsport until this game is fixed because if a game five years old could look that crisp, that distinct and clear compared to a game that came out 48 hours ago, that's an insult. Look at the frame rate, a hundred frames per second. This game is cranked up to ultra for 1440 P and we're averaging a hundred frames. And look how gorgeous that look look how great this game still looks on PC. I I submit to you this game actually looks better than Motorsport. It shouldn't be, but it looks better. And that's wild. Look at the average FPS 99.9 call it 100. Call it 100 FPS. Like I said, granted, this is a five-year-old game, so his demands aren't as, you know, exhaustive as a new game. But if a game from five years ago can look this good, run this well, how come the new game can't do that? So let's go ahead and let's let's take a look at Forza, um, Forza Horizon 5. Same, same test. Same cars, let's see what Forza Horizon, because Horizon 5 came out two years ago, just about two years ago. So whatever development graphical settings they were using in Horizon 5, we should get something similar in, Horizon, in a Forza Motorsport. Real quick, before we go, look, look at this. Look how great, even the camera cuts, dynamic, action it takes you right into the most important parts of the car the new motorsport is i think it just deserves to be deleted off your, your hard drive but yes let's go to horizon 5 and let's take a look at horizon 5. all right so here we are we are in forza horizon 5 a two-year-old game let's take a look at the graphical settings i've been playing at so far 1440p 165 fps V-Sync turned on, show frame rate, motion blur turned off, okay? We're using DLSS in quality, okay? And these are just all the default settings it comes with. We go into graphics, and we're just about running everything, if not close to its highest setting, it's a tab down from the highest settings. This is an open world game, by the way. So let's go ahead and run a benchmark. On a two-year-old game, on high settings. Mind you, you've seen what settings I had to run on Motorsport just to get a barely playable 50 FPS. This is Horizon 5, damn near maxed out on a 1440p monitor. This is what we're getting in terms of benchmark. Here we go, so remember, two years old is how, how old this game is, and it's running at damn near ultra settings. And already, off the bat, look how clear the game looks. Visually, look how clear it is. It's damn near striking.
Okay, so an open world game on max settings is getting damn near similar frame rate to a low to mid setting on a 2023 game. Like, what are we paying for at this point, guys? Like, this is almost insulting to the average gamer. Unless you're playing on a Series X where they figured out how to, and by the way, the Series X settings of Motorsport, you can't even replicate on PC because some settings are lower than low. And that's how they're achieving the 60 FPS lock that Digital Foundry found that the game is locked at. So if you're trying to replicate 60 locked on PC from Motorsport, you can't because there are settings that you don't have access to that are below low. So even when you set the game too low, the console version is lower than those settings. So you're never going to get an actual 60 solid. People are running 3090s, 4080s, and they're still not getting a solid 60 in a game that just came out. Like, what is going on at turn 10? Um, I don't know, but let's take a look at that Honda Civic in Horizon 5 and see how that looks. All right, so this is Horizon 5's version of the same Civic Type R. Once again, look at the reflection. Look how clean the lines are. Look how crisp the image is. This game is two years old and it's still outperforming a game that just came out 48 hours ago. The, 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 I, I don't get why Turn 10 has elected to basically create a game that is worse than the games that came before it. Like. Look how nicely rendered this game looks. And this came out two years ago. Look at how crisp, how perfect this car looks in terms of its modeling, its shading, its materials, its paint, the reflections, the interior. Look how great this car looks two years old in an arcade sim racer. And you're telling me we can't get anything better on the actual sim racer that's supposed to be the flagship of the franchise? Like, the flagship game looks worse than the derivative. Remember, Horizon is a Forza derivative. It shouldn't even be the better version of the Forza games. However, it is. And I feel like I, I, I wasted time playing Motorsport for the last 48 hours because what I was expecting them to perform and deliver after being gone for five plus years, the results is pretty much dog shit. Like look, at, clearly there's some, there's ray tracing in Forza Vista in Horizon 5. Look at just how clean everything looks. Look at the engine bay. Look at how the light bounces off the engine cover, the plastics, the materials, the intake. Just look how, how nice everything is rendered and looks. And now let's take a look at how the same thing looks in motorsport. All right. Now look at the exact same car in motorsport. Look at the engine bay. Can you really tell me that this looks better than Horizon 5? L just look at the poorly rendered and just poor use of screen space, reflections, material shading. Like the overall quality of this interior of the engine bay is worse. And this game came out 48 hours ago. Like how Sway? How? Like what were they doing? Look at the look at the hood, or as some people call it, the bonnet. Look at the reflection, and just just look at how poorly rendered. Now this could be due to the settings I have it at, because unfortunately, if you have it in any other settings, this becomes a slideshow on PowerPoint. So if you want to even have a decent experience, you have to one dumb the game down to a horrible um, graphical setting, and then. After you do that, the game just turns into this, but I'm pretty sure even on a 4090, this image quality isn't getting that much better. 
And that's sad because people spend good money building their rigs in preparation for a game of this magnitude, hoping that it's it's well optimized so they can have the best experience on their $2,000 rig. And you can't even get, look at the fucking shadows on the door. Like, come on. This is the most pathetic launch of a Forza. This is worse than Forza Motorsport 5. At least Motor Motorsport 5 was just lacking in features and content, but the actual visuals of the game was there. But this is worse. This is no this, this is lacking in visuals and in content. There are features from Motorsport 7 this game just doesn't have. You want to go to a race? Okay, you can look at okay, real quick, Forza Vista works when you're in your home or your car bay. Whatever the fuck they call him, this stupid thing. Now, let's go to a race. And let's say, let's go to Catalonia and let's do the Grand Prix and let's do it in the afternoon. And let's just do it with no AI, okay? Just zero, zero drive guitars. Okay, we're at trackside. In Forza Motorsport 7, when you got your car to this part of the race, there was a button to look at Forza Vista trackside. Now, unless they've hidden this feature and I can't find it, there is no Forza Vista at the track. You can't even look at your car when you're here. Like, how do we lose that feature? This is like, we're losing features on a game that's supposed to be built from the ground up. Ground up from what? Like, th this game is just trash, bro. This game is straight up ass. And just to prove it, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a two lap race and we're gonna compare it to Motorsport 7. Same car, same track, similar uh, time of day. And tell me, before you go, which of these two games look better? If you if, if did a blind test and I just showed you this two clips and I asked you which of these is the brand new Forza Motorsport, which one would you think would be the, the Motorsport? And the fact that you can't even say the actual Motorsport is the new Motorsport is, is, is sad. Like th this, this is the worst Motorsport to ever launch in the Forza history. Like Forza Motorsport 4 was great. It's like it's it's that 4 is like gold. And I don't think they'll ever touch that again. I don't think Forza Motorsport 4's level of performance, technical achievement, graphical and features will ever be touched by this team again. Because I don't think the same people that made Forza Motorsport 4 are working at turn 10 and now. Like it, it can't be. This this is the worst Forza I think I've ever played. Now the driving aspect when you get the game to run is great. But look at how you're driving. Like look at what you're looking at while you drive. Who would want to look at this when you have better games out there to play? This is like literally compare the two images on your screen right now and tell me which would you rather play? A five-year-old game or a game that came out 48 hours ago? And they expect us to pay 70 bucks for this? For this trash? Fuck out of here, man. Turn 10, you guys are smoking crack. Like I've been a, I've been playing every Forza game, except for Forza Motorsport 2, because I didn't have an Xbox 360. And when I got a 360, uh, three had just come out. So I, I went from one to three. But outside of that, I've played every motorsport, every Forza game. Hell, I haven't played the stupid uh, Fast and Furious Forza Horizon 2 DLC. Who remembers that one? I've like I've played every game in this series, and I think this is the first time I can say I'm not gonna I'm gonna uninstall this until I've seen some proper patches and updates applied to this game on PC. Cause th this is trash. This is like the, 
Who the hell would pay 70 bucks for this? One more lap. So yeah, man, it's your boy Augie, Reality Comics Gaming. Uh, motorsport is, is, is not worth your time. Not in the current state it's in. You don't need to spend any money upgrading to premium or buying any car packs or buying them. You don't give them a damn dollar until PC is fixed because what's the point? And, and then the thing that I keep going back to is this game was delayed. If this is what it looks like now, imagine what it would have looked like when they released it at its initial release date before they delayed it. Yeah, man, yo, if you have a 3070 Ti, there's your settings. This is what you're going to be experiencing majority of the time. You can probably dumb some of those settings down a little bit to get some more FPS out, but you won't be getting much. You won't be seeing no 60. And if you do see 60, you're not going to be seeing anything but a potato on the screen going around, you know, blurs of sand. But yeah, man, Forza Motorsport 7 or Motorsport 8, it's not worth your time. Go back to Motorsport 7. Enjoy that. It's a much better game, at least visually. Most features are there, and if you're looking for just dumb fun, go play Horizon 5. Don't play this. This is not. This is not Forza. As a Forza fan, this is not Forza. It might have the name, but it does not have the DNA, and it does not have the standards that Turn 10 has set for this franchise. So yeah. That's what I got to say about it, man. This is the worst experience I've ever had playing a Forza game. And that that's that's saying a lot. But yeah, man, go play Horizon 5. It's a much better game.